Uh, this lesson focuses on the printing uh, options you have within Excel. So many printing options. Um, I'm going to go to File and Print right now. And from here, um, you have this whole list here. Of course, you can choose the amount of copies you want to print. But more importantly, you want to decide what it is that you would like to print. So uh, if you want to print the entire workbook, that it would mean every single sheet in the workbook. So every part of every sheet in the workbook. Now, rarely do you want to do that, but you can do that. Um, so going back here, I have several books, and it would print all of them. Okay. Now, other choices that you have, uh, you can ask to print active sheets. Now, by active sheets, you would, sorry, you would um, group the sheets that you wanted printed. So using your control key here, I, I can select several sheets, and then I would say print only the active sheets. And then that would print just those sheets. If you um, only have one sheet selected, so I'm going to go back and just simply click on one sheet here. And then when you go File and Print, that's the active sheet there, and it would print that sheet. Selection uh, is exactly what, what they mean. So if you only wanted to print, let's say, this part, when you go to File and Print, you would ask for Selection. And it's showing here that it's only going to print the selection. That's a very, very popular feature. Now, the same way of doing that would be by defining a print area. Um, I prefer selection, but they want you to know that I can take this and set this as the print area. And once I set that as a print area, I would, could then go print And I believe just print selection would work. It would just go print automatically. So that's how you could set the print area. If you want to remove the print area, you would come here and you would clear the print area. So let me just try, let's experiment here to set that as the print area. And now when I go file and print, there's a preview, all right? So it's only printing that. So I just have to hit print and it will automatically do that. So you can print selection or you can select a print area and print it that way. Almost too many choices, right? Now, if you have something set as a print area and you get here and you realize, no, no, I don't want to use a print area and you don't want to clear the print area, yet more choices, you can actually say, okay, print the active sheet and then I want to ignore the print area. So if I click this, it'll ignore the print area and it'll print the whole sheet. So. Uh, more choices yet. So if you have a designated print area and you don't only want that printed, you do have the ability to check that so that you ignore the print area. So that turns it on or off. That's a bit of a new feature. Um, more information here. If you've got, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to ignore the print area here. And I've got a, a, a sheet that goes just barely onto two page here. Now that could be very, very annoying. And so what they've done is they've, they've given you the choice here where from no scaling, I could say fit the sheet on one page. So that used to be called shrink to fit. Um, so now, of course, it's adjusted the size of what it is you're putting on your page, uh, but it at least made it fit. So you've got a few neat options here. You have fit all columns on one page. Uh, you've got fit all rows on one page or fit everything onto one page, but understand that things are going to get shrunk, right? And then you've got custom scaling options where you can adjust the size of your uh, worksheet so that if you make it smaller, of course, there's a chance, a better chance that it's going to fit uh, onto your page when you print it. So a great many uh, useful practical options when printing just uh, before you hit print give this some thought. And of course, I guess uh, you need to know that um, you, you can print 
uh, in several ways now. You're not just printing to a, a regular printer. You can, you can go to a document uh, writer. Um, you can uh, probably save it as a PDF as well. So all kinds of options that way.